Hey guys, welcome back and thanks for tuning in to this overview slash review of case knives. I consider case knives to be kind of like the gateway drug to traditional folders. They certainly were for me. Um, and we'll talk a little bit about that concept here in a little bit. We'll also talk about how case knives fits in with other traditional folder brands out there as well as how they do for cutting and whittling in particular, which I've done a fair bit with, and I'll show you a couple more pieces here in a bit. Um, and you know what we'll try to do throughout this video is not make it super long because what I wanna do is do a brief overview of each of the models I have here, as well as you know kind of talk really more about the uh, traditional folder concept and why we'd wanna buy traditional folders in a day where we have things like you know, Microtech OTFs and so forth, a lot of really modern, interesting, cool knives. Why would we jump back to the traditional folders? Well, we'll try to touch on that a little bit as well throughout the video. So lots to talk about. And if you guys are really interested in seeing more case knives or more detail on any of these knives, say so down in the comment section below because I wanna talk more about traditional folders for sure, but it's gonna be based, it's gonna be gauged by your interest. Hopefully this is just the beginning for traditional folders on this channel. Lots more to say and we'll get to that here shortly. Um, first I want to do a little administrative announcement. Uh, the patches, which are sticking to my tablecloth. Patches, you guys are familiar with these by now. You've seen them in a lot of videos and you know that you can buy them with the uh, link down in the description. The one that I've had available up till now is this piece right here and you can see the difference between that one and this one given the uh, the text there. You see that this one's got dark text with light outline, light text, dark outline. I liked that a lot better. After I received this one, I'm like, ooh, I know what I need to change. So for the next rev, the next ben bunch that I bought, I changed the art to do this. And uh, so this is what's gonna be available going forward. However, we need to sell out of the current stock. So here's the deal. From now until the current stock, the old stock is gone, when you buy one patch, you get an, an old stock patch for free. So that's two for one for every single order, okay? You buy one for five bucks shipped, you get one of these as well thrown in the envelope. Same goes for if you buy two, you get four. If you buy four, you get eight, so on and so forth. However many you buy, you're gonna get that doubled up. And that's the deal going forward until the old stock is used up I won't make an announcement video of any sort to say that the old stock is used up. So if you're wondering if you're gonna get two or one, you can go ahead and message me, uh, ask in a comment um, and so forth. Go over to Facebook and ask me, ask me on Instagram, whatever you wanna do. Uh, and that's how you can find out if uh, the deal's still going or if you're just gonna get one of the new stock. Now, back to case knives. So the first real hands-on exposure I got with, you know, in on mass with Case Knives was at SHOT Show 2017, visited their booth, talked to Fred, great guy, had a great conversation with him off camera. On camera, it was a little more, um, a little more nerves were involved and maybe that was a little, uh, a little bit, bit of a clunky um, interview there, but uh, awesome guy and the knives we talked about, the knives we saw there in the booth, man, I was so impressed and uh, really just wanted to use that opportunity to introduce you guys. For those of you who don't really have an interest in traditional folders yet, I wanted to bring that to your attention because I'm interested in traditional folders now. I hadn't really been in the past, but there's a lot of things about them that have just kind of, I don't know, whatever, whatever it is, the switch in my head has has switched and I'm now curious and interested and fascinated by traditional folders and that's that's kind of where we're at. So we, we got a few knives in hand from Case, this one, that one, and that one. That is the Denim Peanut. This is the carbon fiber back pocket with the clip blade. This is the saw cut caramel bone uh, back pocket with the Skinner blade. After I got those in hand from Case, I said I needed a broader array of knives for myself to play with. So I went out and bought the Copper Lock in, uh, what is this again? I think it's it's called uh, Amber Bone. And then I bought the uh, Mini Trapper in Smooth Chestnut Bone. Uh, these knives come in all different steel types, um, or at least I should say case knives are available in lots of different steel types. The, the few that I'm aware of, there's stainless steel, there's chrome vanadium, and there is um, True Sharp, which I think is their surgical steel that they use. If I'm not mistaken, this guy right here is chrome vanadium, but it could be stainless. Not totally sure. I think that this one here is a stainless. I don't know if I have 
a, uh, a true sharp. Yeah, I think this one's true sharp. Is it? It says SS for stainless on it, so it might be just stainless, but um, it's listed as being true sharp, so I don't know. Uh, in any case, we'll talk about the performance of each of those knives in doing some of the carving here in a little bit. what I feel about case knives. Having looked at other traditional folders at this point, I feel like case knives is up there in quality. They've got some great stuff like this carbon fiber back pocket, which is well over a hundred dollar knife. It is very nice. It's uh, the, the fit and the finish on it. The walk and the talk is extremely strong. I mean, that has got some great retention to it. A real nice snap there at the midpoint. And then you heard it when I was closing it. And of course, all the way open. Oh man, that has got a real nice snap to it. Okay, so this carbon fiber back pocket, so nice. So nice, worth the money in my opinion. And good looking too, right? I mean, just stellar as far as looks are concerned. With this cool little leather, I think it's leather, uh, lanyard to it with a, I believe is a, a, a pewter, sort of a keep there that uh, locks those two strands together or that one strand and that loop together. Um, just a really nice knife. And uh, clearly a good EDC. I've carried this, I've EDC'd this for a good little bit. Have used it in many applications, cardboard cutting, etc. Did a little whittling with it as well, just uh, to kind of get some test footage. But um, yeah, just a good, good folder uh, for general use. And I like it quite a bit. The uh, Caramel Bone back pocket, for whatever reason, this one has got not quite as good of um, the snap and the, the walk to it, you know. It's, it's okay in the smoothness, but the snap is not quite as hard. And then there at the midpoint, not really a snap. It's kind of spongy. And that's true of the open point as well. You can hear a little snap there, but that's just because I'm flicking it. In reality, it's slow. It's kind of a slow, spongy stop to it. Um, that is true of this particular caramel bone um, with a Skinner blade. I haven't tried others myself to see if that's uh, chronic of that particular type, but it's, it's worth pointing out to you. The peanut is the other one that they sent to me, and this one has always had real nice snap to it. Closing that one. Yeah, it's. I think it's a lot easier to do in sort of the smaller... Ooh, got, my, got the back of my fingernail just then. Be a little more careful this time. Maybe a little easier to do in some of the smaller packages, but the, the peanut is a real nice one to carry just because it's super nice looking, fits in hand and in pocket super easily. So this is one of those ones you can walk around the house in your pajamas with, or uh, you know, kind of just in, in uh, the bottom of your pants pocket for daily carry. This one has the, I believe it's called the pocket worn denim um, jig bone cover to it, which is super nice looking. Just a great color. Moving on to one of the ones that I purchased, and that is the Copper Lock in, again, the Amber Bone, which again is real nice looking. Jigged Amber Bone, very, very attractive. And it's getting some nice scuffs on the bolsters there uh, from lots of pocket carry and lots of use. Uh, this one, of course, is a lock back. Most of all the ones that I have on the table, aside from this, do not lock at all. And so it's a very different uh, measure of quality. You're not looking for that same kind of walk and talk the, that uh, you have from these. There's no stop in the middle point, for instance. And uh, the lock up, again, very different, but solid as can be. And it has been throughout uh, the entire time I've owned it and used it. Just a nice, solid, small, give you that, small, but great, very solid. And it is the mini copper lock. So you know, I, I was aware that it was small going into it, and honestly, that's what I want out of a case knife. I like the smaller ones. I like the minis because I want to be able to carry them as sort of secondary blades, more for the joy of using them than for the necessity. But uh, definitely, I jump into them and uh, put some put some utility work through these knives when I have the opportunity. Uh, but anyway, the the mini copper lock in amber bone. This one in particular goes for about fifty four bucks. Um, the peanut, I don't think I said the price on that one. 
The amber, or sorry, the denim, I'm not sure on the price on that, but um, you can get into the yellow Derlin, or Derlin, however you want to say it, for about 35 bucks, and that's going to have all the same you know, quality as this one, just a different cover to it, basically. Uh, then getting into the, the Mini Trapper here, which, I'll be honest, this has been my favorite. My favorite one to use, my favorite one to carry of all the case knives I've looked at um, up to this point. I like the size. Again, the Mini is, is right up my alley. Fits great in hand, but fits great in pocket. You can carry this as a drop in the pocket, drop at the bottom of the pocket. Kind of a knife if that's the way you want to use it. Um, also slips into smaller knife pockets like uh, some of my True Spec pants have, which is a very comfortable way to carry it. The clip blade on that, real nice shape to it. And like I said before, yeah, good snap, both at the open point, at the midpoint, and at the close point. And that is true of both that clip blade and also the spay blade. Yeah, nice snap in all positions and real smooth travel to it as well. Um, good looking, this one in the um, uh, chestnut bone, smooth chestnut bone. I think I saw a jigged one as well, and for some reason, the smooth one just jumped out at me. I was like, that's different, it's cool, I want that. <laughs> so, um, just a very, very good looking knife, but very utilitarian and useful too. One of my favorite things about the Mini Trapper is that spay blade. And the reason why, great bowl carver for carving out your spoon. You can get in there and get those walls nicely rounded with that little, uh, that spay blade. It, it carves and whittles these sort of rounded ends and rounded size, sides so well that uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be sort of in the pantheon um, of favorite knives for a while. But having said that, whittling with these was super enjoyable. Uh, carved that spoon, obviously, as you can tell there. Did that one with the, um, the Mini Trapper. And um, it was just a joy to carve. The wood that I used is some of this stuff right here. Here's a, a raw piece of stock. And this is basswood. Um, harvested that from some trees in my area, let it dry, chopped it up, and then carved it into some pieces for you. But uh, there's the spoon, there's the fork. The fork was done with, I believe, the uh, this guy right here, the mini copper lock, and that was no big deal. That was very easy to do and very fun. Very fun little about 30 minute project for the fork. Actually, that fork was done by a different knife. This is the fork that I did with the copper lock. So I've got two forks here and I'll show, show you which knife did this in a different video, but there's the copper lock fork. And again, real easy to do and an enjoyable project. There's a letter opener or knife, whatever you want to call it. That one was carved by the peanut. Yeah, the peanut did that whole thing. A little difficult to hold onto, as you might imagine, kind of not as fun to do the carving with because it's difficult to sort of get that really into your hand in a, in, and really do that sort of big planing and getting lots of material off. Not easy to do, but got it done. Uh, with just that little knife. So depending on what you want to create, no matter what size it is you want to create, you'd spend the time with it, uh, something as small as the peanut can do it. And that's real cool, real satisfying to know. So a couple more words about how case knives fit in against other brands of traditional folders. Uh, Cause I don't th feel like I really fleshed out my, my thoughts on that. Here's the deal. In my opinion, case knives hits a sweet spot where you have a really good price, a pretty good price. Cause again, they are nice knives, they're decent knives. And so, and they're priced accordingly. But you got good prices on them and then you've also got great accessibility, and there's that's a two-fold kind of thing, but then you've also got a huge amount of variety. We'll talk about variety in a second, but back to accessibility. So if you go to your local hardware store, I bet you'll see a case full of case knives. They're everywhere. They seem to be everywhere. You can always find case knives. And you know, regionally, you'll probably find different ones available to you. Different covers, different uh, steel types, different, um, different, different patterns. 
Uh, and so due to that fact, the accessibility, I love that. And price is kind of an accessibility thing too because you know they're very, very expensive traditional folders, but um, uh, the accessibility of these price-wise makes them, makes them real nice. Now let's get on to that last point of variety. <laughs> the, only, the only way you can really see the huge variety of case knives in one fell swoop is to go visit their booth at SHOT Show or some other show. I mean, when I saw them at SHOT Show 2017, it was just, it was kind of like Disneyland. It's just like this never ending parade of different, um, of different styles, of different, um, you know, patterns of different, cover types and, and steels and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And wow, I mean, there's so much available. The variety that Case offers is, I don't think anybody can match them, okay? So we can say that other brands will beat them on quality, but then they are, have higher prices. But we can't say, I don't think, that we, we can say that anybody else matches them for variety and collectability. And the variety creates collectability. So the fact that uh, they have such collectability, such variety makes Case really stand out. And that's kind of their, their niche, in my opinion. That's kind of where they sit in the traditional folder market. I think it's a very respectable place and I'm, I'm a fan. Now I can't really argue that traditional folders are more useful than modern folders. And I don't think you would try to argue that point either. So the question becomes, why would you choose a traditional folder over a modern folder? In my opinion, you wouldn't choose it over a modern folder, but rather next to or in conjunction with a modern folder. In many cases, there are still lots of folks that don't care about sort of the modern uh, stuff that's out there, the flippers and the interesting locks and the really high-tech steels and etc. 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 A lot of folks aren't interested in that stuff. They like the feel of a traditional folder, period. It's just better in their mind. And I'm totally down with that. But for all of us modern folder guys, why would we pick um, a traditional folder? Well, this is a chance for us to sort of get back to the roots of folding knives in general. Uh, looking at the patterns that existed in the past that were used by many different companies uh, to make different knives and are still used today. The peanut is a very old pattern. Copper lock, the mini trapper, the trapper, very old patterns. Back pocket, I think is a slightly newer pattern, but there are tons of these patterns um, that are offered in traditional knives that have been around a long, long time. And due to the, that fact, I mean, it, like I said, it really is an opportunity for you, the knife collector, the knife enthusiast, to reconnect with some of the stuff, the lineage of the folders that you carry today. And that's what you get by jumping into traditional folders. And that's the reason I'm so interested in them and why I've been enjoying them so much. But whether you want to reconnect with folding knives from the past or you just wanna try something different, traditional folders are a great way to go and case knives in particular are a very affordable, accessible, quality way to go with lots of interesting variety and something that will certainly appeal to you. So like I said before guys, I want to present more case knife videos to you, more traditional folder videos to you in the future, but that is very much dependent on your reaction to this little test video. Uh, tell me what you think. Do you want to see more of this stuff? Is this fun to watch? Do you want to see some full length whittling videos? I'm totally down with posting that if you're interested. I got the whole uncut thing for all of these as well as other pieces too. I can post them if you want to see them. Um, that's, that's all 100% up to my audience and that will be determined by the view count of this video as well as the comments and ratings. So please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment down below if you want to see more. I'm Lay Boy Scout. This has been my overview of Case Knives, really the gateway drug to traditional folders. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.